Yo everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name's Fi. Um, I just thought I would do a Dark Souls 3 guide video um, because I was listening to, I don't know, a podcast or a video that uh, was on Ratatoskers? I have no idea. And um, he had I'm Amish on uh, and they were talking about um, game balance and, and Elden Ring and what could be done to balance the online player versus player aspect and obviously the concept of twinking comes up um now i mean i i i am completely ambivalent about twinking like i'm not some but the conversation about twinking came up and i i agreed with most of it right but they said the dark hand uh was was a twink item um uh, and that's actually not true the dark hand you get very early in the game um and so apparently a lot of people are unaware of this that you can get it so early as as early as Undead Settlement, I should say. So I thought I'd make a quick guide how to get there. All right. Um, so right now I'm in Firelink Shrine. I'm just going to go fight through High Wall, and I'll see you at Undead Settlement. So the first thing you're going to want to do once you get to the foot of the High Wall bonfire, excuse me, uh, is you're going to go recruit Yol of Londor. I'll go show you where that is, um, because the first time I played, I would have missed him if it wasn't for people in my stream watching to tell me to go get him. Because he has five uh, free levels as well. Alright, so Yol is one of these pilgrims. These are all dead, except for Yol, who is here to the right. Please, grant me death. Undo my shackles. Death will come for you, but not today. <laughs> oh, oh, do I am Yol Sambaba. Say, I was what? Accept his oh, service. I, I... And he will go back to Firelink Shrine. Um, it's very easy to miss him considering he doesn't really move that much. You hear just his disembodied voice and they all look the same. Uh, now that he's at Firelink Shrine, the next step is to kill yourself a whole bunch. So one of the reasons that Amish gave me for Dark Hand not being an early game item is... Well, there was two. Most players won't be able to get it until later, given how many deaths it requires to be able to get to the requisite five levels. And that it also costs 12,000 souls, which is a lot for low level. This is really uh, simple to do. First step is the death to get the five levels. It only takes a couple of minutes. You just kill yourself over and over in Filing Shrine. We'll do that now. Actually, before you kill yourself the first time, <laughs> go speak to Yol and get the first level. Draw out true strength. Then shall we bear her? Uh, I usually just like to stat into Vigor. Be safe. Now let the suicide commence. Make sure that every time you cure yourself, you grab your souls. We're up to 6,000 already. Ah, you have attained ample strength. All will soon be clear, my good lord. Be safe, our lord. So to get the maximum of five levels from Yol, you only need to have about 20 hollowing. And you will know because your face will look like this. <laughs> Um, so that took me, to get the required deaths, only took me four minutes. And a lot of that was also just me checking and running around. Um, it'd be a lot faster if I was really just doing it over and over. So I've got the maximum amount of levels from Yol, and his dialogue changes to let you know that you have the maximum levels. The next time you bonfire warp, he will die and Yuria will arrive. So I've, so I've just bonfire warped back to Firelink Shrine. You can see that Yol is dead. 
And now Yuria has arrived. She'll give her a quick interaction and then you can buy things from her. And she is actually the merchant that sells you the Dark Hand. Now, Amish said it cost 12,000 and one of the Amish's objections was that it also cost 12,000 souls, which is a lot for a low level. It's actually not, and you can get 12,000 souls by killing two enemies that are not too difficult or time consuming. Now, you saw before that I said Till we meet again. to pick up the souls every time you kill yourself. That was more for you following the guide if you want to spend them on other things. I'm not going to pick them up, so I start at zero souls, and I'm going to kill two enemies and have enough to buy the Dark Hand. Uh, so the next step is just to head straight back to Undead Settlement and make your way to the Cursed Rod of Greatwood. So the next step you want to do is you want to get this bonfire here by the dilapidated bridge and then from here it's only a short run to the Cursed Rod of Greatwood. Okay so I just beat the Cursed Rod of Greatwood. Not at all a difficult boss. You can do it pretty easily with a um, plus one weapon um, as well as fire bundles which you can get by um, this point and obviously there's always um, in Undead Settlement at low level there's always phantoms you can summon to help you. Um, which makes pretty short work of it. Alright, now we're going to head uh, over and meet Sigvid of Katarina for the next part of the guide. Now for a few pl uh, for new players, this part can be a little bit daunting because you have a whole bunch of mobs just chasing you. Easy way to solve that is once you open this door, just uh, quit out. And then just reload the, 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 the same game. Just continue. And the um, mobs will be back in their default positions. See? Easy. Uh, so you just run through. Um, as this lift comes up, uh, Sigvid will uh, come up. Now... So what you want to do is you want to get off and let that go down and then the other part will come up. Or come down rather. Okay, there we go. Now we jump on this. Now, I always forget which direction it is. I think you've got to face the wall, right? Hmm. Nope. The way you came in. So here's Sigvid. He's um, totally based, by the way. And he's watching the... Um, hmm. Oh, do it. The demon down here. This is an extremely easy fight because Fig, as I said, Siegvid is just an absolute pog champ, and he can basically won this. Um, and, you know, help him obviously, but this is not a hard fight. This is the demon in the undead settlement, which will also net you a fire gem, I think. By the way. Oh, I say it's really easy, and then I just uh, get no, just clowned on. You should have waited. Well, there we go. It's too late now. I, Sigurd of the Knights of Katarina, fight by your side. Ah! Even with a really lousy, uh, just a meme sword like Storm Ruler that, that he has, he makes super short work of the demon. Done. Give you the fire gem. Now you have 12,000 souls from just defeating the Curse Rod of Great Wood and the Demon. Speak to Sigvid, get the Sigbrow and a gesture. That Long may the sun shine. Okay, there, get the toast. Oh, he gets two gestures. Sleep, right? Yeah, yeah, two gestures. Alright. Uh, bone back to Farling Shrine. There'll be another one uh, just over by the cliff there if you don't have any. There we go. We have the till we meet again. Dark hand. May the dark. Now that took me uh, less than an hour, and I wasn't even trying to do it particularly quickly. Um, and we'll just go to the bonfire just quickly. And as you can see, uh, we we haven't even got most of the way through the second level you know we haven't even reached the third level this is such an early game item very easy to get all you have to do is find your commit suicide a whole bunch of times over a few couple of minutes to get the required hollowing get the five levels from him beat the curse rod of greatwood beat the fire um, beat the demon in the undead settlement 
and that's all you have to do. The benefits of the Dark Hand early is that it does a lot of damage. What is it now? What in bloody hell is wrong with you? See, it's uh, I'm a it deserter, I know. It does but a lot, of, and it's got a good hit stun. Oh, I just let him heal. Hold on. We'll just kill Hawkwood. There we go. It does a lot of damage. It has a very good hit stun. Um, and it, but the uh, drawbacks are... Oh, you can also be used as a shield in the offhand, to be honest. Oh, hold on. That's the weapon art. There we go. Um, it's not very good as a shield because it's got pretty low stability. You've got to leave yourself open to getting reposted by um, being knocked back. Uh, very easily, but in the main hand it makes a very good weapon early game. It does a lot of damage The drawbacks are at, the drawbacks are is that it's got no range and unlike the Cestus which can perseverance You're gonna get knocked by any weapons um, by a lot of weapons uh, That outrange you simply uh, but also it cannot be infused buffed or reinforced So you can't upgrade it throughout the game. You can't infuse it with anything. It can't be buffed by uh, bundles and you can't reinforce it with Tide Knight, so it drops off in usefulness pretty quickly around the mid game. So yeah, that's the uh, um, early game guide for getting the Dark Hand. Um, I hope you find it useful if you want to use the Dark Hand. Um, anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Um, if you hate it, just leave a comment <laughs> letting me know. Um, I hope it was useful to at least some people on how you can very easily get the Dark Hand very early in the game, which will you know, I'll admit, carry you probably through to Pontiff. Um, anyway, if you like this video, uh, you found it useful, please um, subscribe to the channel for more.